Hey guys, what's up? So what do I have for you today? I have a crawler house trailer build that I've been working on. Uh, it's for my Suzuki Samurai um, WPL based truck here. It's perfect size. Um, so again, what we'll do, like I like to do normally, is I'll pick the camera up and I'll give you guys a look at the little creation that I've got here. So this is going to look really awesome trailing along behind this little Suzuki truck. So let's take a look. What is it? It's an ambulance or it was an ambulance here. Sorry. I don't want to, I don't want to make you guys sick or give you motion sickness. So I'm just going to put this back down and then I'll just pick the trailer up and show you like that. So we have, this was an ambulance toy. And the more I looked at it, the more I saw a really cool house trailer, crawler style trailer. Um, kind of hidden within this thing. Now, I've gotten everything done <clears throat> that I want to do as far as getting it mechanically functioning, getting it up on. Um, I'll show you in a sec when I flip it over. There's a diff under there. It's got suspension. Um, you know, it's fully going to be pretty decently capable. Um, what I noticed is a lot of really cool lines um, it's got a door. It's got some really neat little like rivets and stuff like that and some moldings and some lights and stuff like that. So in a window. So I thought, um, here, I'm going to show you. I've got a couple of these guys. So I'm going to add these into the sides um, and then tint them. They're not going to be functioning. I'm not going to cut this thing open. I'm actually just going to paint the other side of that, and then I'm going to glue it on. You'll see how it looks. It's actually going to look pretty good. I've messed around with that before. It looks awesome. Um, and I'm not really going to do anything as far as uh, put anything inside of this as far as scale. It's pretty heavy already. It's just going to look cool um, trailing along behind the Suzuki. So here, we'll turn it around. How did I make it? What did I do to make it? So it's got a hole right here. That's where... The front of this truck, or the van, or whatever this was when it was an ambulance, it had a truck that went on the front part of this, so there's a hole there. So I'm going to have to do something with that. I've kind of got that sort of figured out. The spare tire is going to be mounted up like that, and then that's going to be, like, solid somehow. Um, this part here is actually from... Um, here, I'll take this off because we're going to flip it over. It's from a toy trailer, um, and I thought the front looked really good. It's got some... Uh, if you can see that, it's got some check plating and it's got a couple of batteries there. So I, when I paint this, the whole trick to it with the paint is to bring out as much realism, because that's my thing, I love realism, as much realism in this thing as I possibly can to make it look like a house trailer. Again, it's still going to resemble an ambulance, but um, when I get this painted, it's going to look a lot more like a house trailer. So here, let's look at the back. It's kind of neat. The door is open. Um, so you can see like there is a lot of room in there if I wanted to do anything at all I more than likely would put an additional battery source to power the truck like with maybe a longer milliamp hour um, battery something like that and I would put it in here and then what I was thinking is maybe wiring it up to the truck so that the truck can feed off of this for the battery source which would be kind of trick and really cool and it just sort of trails behind and then I can go a lot longer and further obviously it's going to wear the battery out pulling this behind it so maybe that'll help okay so let's flip it over let's get to the good part so it's really more or less just glued together so like I said before this was a toy trailer from um from just a, a toy truck setup. Um, I stole it from my kid. Sorry, son, but this is a lot better purpose for it. Um, I've got a couple of beadlock tires on here. Now, these are from a 124 uh, scale crawler. They're on backwards right now, so I have to flip them over. Um, the diff is the same thing. It's from a 124 crawler as well as the spring setup. So the springs are just, there's a little screw that goes in there on either side to hold them in. It's really dark here. Screw on either side to hold them in, and that's what mounts them to the frame. And then it just bounces up and down. It actually articulates too, if you look. So it's going to kind of do the trick. Um, and then up inside here, it's got a couple of, it's I guess it would kind of be the same thing as like a um, swing arm type setup. And then I don't know if you can see it in there. 
but I've got a rod here and it runs through here and then this wraps around the rod and just pivots up and down just like that. Simple. So once I get this painted up, I just wanted to show you guys what's up with it because um, I'm going to be bringing it out soon and I wanted to show you what it looked like before the paint happens to it and I bring out some of the realism and details of this thing. I think it's going to look a lot better. Um, so anyways, there you have it guys. Just a quick little preview of what's going on with the channel and what, I'm, what I've got coming up. Um, yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. Take care.